The Moonstone was Kuturo's only ticket home to Earth. Newly armed with the ninja's bombacious powers, Kuturo continued to scour the Moonwood in search of the despicable rat. Now back to Kuturo's tale. Ever since the goddess had vanished from her throne, the denizens of the Moonwood had hardly slept a wink. But then they received a visitor. A single, smartly dressed rat. Gather round, the rat said, and produced a purple elixir. This tincture will cure all illnesses and stave off the tyrant's magic. And he offered to sell it to them for a reasonable price, as a neighborly gesture. The Moonwood's inhabitants were overjoyed and relieved to have such a good friend looking out for them. is a mess, all right. But where's General Rat? There's still no sign of him. At least it's nice here. Finally a place on the moon that's not crazy. Hey, Kataro, even if you clobber that rat and get the Moonstone Shard, you better not give it to the witch. I mean it. Seriously, that witch? She's just using you so she can get her grubby hands on the moonstone. Or worse. <laughs> oh, yes, Daddy. Give me the moonstone. And your brains. Who knows what she'll do with that kind of power? You should leave the moonstone with me. I can keep it safe. What? You would a dare. That dip squeak is even more shady than I am. Can it, Crone? No comments from the imaginary peanut gallery. Be honest, Kataro. Do you still not trust me? Because I think I could tell you something that might change your mind. Ready for this? My daddy is the sun. I know, it's like tragic. I'm a princess, I'm royalty. Then the Moon Bear King hits me with one lousy flash of magic. And suddenly, I'm just royally tiny. What? What's that look? I'm serious, I'm the Sun Princess. Princess. What? Hey! Princess, 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 Princess. Stop that! Princess, 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 Princess. The Princess of the Sun is him. And so, uh, with the vows of, um, friendship renewed, Kutaro and Picarina, princess of the sun, continued their quest to find the shattered moonstone. <laughs> and now, for Lake Cedrus! Kuturo and Picarina were still hot on the rat's tail when they reached the edge of a dim and darksome lake. Oh, please, someone, anyone, help! Save me from my predicament! Mayday! Mayday! They what? heard the shrill what? cries of a damsel in distress. Low in calories and contain high efficiency protein. 
beauty in every bout. Uh, oh, is she eating her own kids? For real? Living in the lake were adorable little creatures known as the Kapagairu, but the rat's toxin had triggered a most unpleasant metamorphosis, and the few Kapagairu who dodged that bullet now faced extinction at the hands of their psychopathic relative. In days of yore, the moon goddess herself took holidays to the lake, but you wouldn't know it now. Unless her idea of a day off was frightful fishes, freakish frogs, and phantasmal whiskers. This very taiko drum boomed and bland as the Kapagairu fested their festivals. Now, the tune had changed. How many festivals do you know of that are held underwater? When it's a bountiful harvest you're praying for, nothing butters up your gods and ancestors better than lugging around heavy portable shrines. A particularly rowdy festival usually climaxed with Kapagairu romping about in the dark, forging romances and finding creative ways to increase the Kapagairu population. Just picture it, the pristine water, like glass, nestled in a vast kingdom of green. It was the perfect getaway for two young lovers. The grass by the lake, soft upon the buttocks. <clears throat> well, let's just say it was a very memorable honeymoon, even for a man full of memorable stories. But those vividly luscious days are lost, like frogs in a blender. When you get as old as me, and the days grow as weary and predictable as they do, you too will be longing for grass on your buttocks. You mark my words. Look out! It's an army of... Uh, arms! 
Many believe he was given all these arms so that he could come to the rescue of countless worlds. Well, could he start with our world? Just saying. Kutaro pressed on, unflinching, across the dangerous lake's mossy rocks and aquatic leaves, slashing at the petals on the wind as if composing a wordless poem. Onward our hero sloshed, noting with every sploosh that the rat's purple poison had been splotched all over the place like putrid paint. I had dreams once! I was beautiful once! Could you shut up once? about the middle lantern. It almost looks like one of those paper ones. I had dreams once. I was beautiful once! Could you shut up once? the middle lantern. It almost looks like one of those paper ones. At the heart of Lake Cedrus, Kutaro came across a great blob of poison. Surely this was what had fouled up the lake. I have a tragedy in the midst of unfolding. I hate to pick on the old trout, but aim for that brainless head of hers. Bro, 
broken? Oh, at last! My former splendor will be restored! I was to have listened to that inside his rat. <laughs> well, let that be a lesson. The next time something sounds too good to be true. Oh, cut you, rat. Cut you. You vile servant of evil. Like the black death you came and blackened the hope in us all. And then you killed us. <laughs> Still alive, you know. Pill, ah! <laughs> what gives? Is Gloria off today? I can't work with this ham. Whoa, 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 with me. Oh my gosh, this is horrifying. Come on, Kataro. Wait, wait, I'm not finished. The gods, the gods of the Moonwood, they are in danger. Drivers danger! More! You are doomed! Doomed! The Moonwood's end is assured! <laughs> it's grievous, you ignoramus! Oh, that's it! Stop everything! Jeez, lady! Who flushed your muse down the toilet? <sighs> Curtain! Bill, get her out of here! I'll summarize for the audience! <clears throat> Okay, so basically, me and Kitaro are the searching- The Cedars! Oh. You must find mother and father Cedar at the center of the forest before- Shut up! Me and Kitaro have to save the Moonwood's guardian deity. Whose roots stretch oh. beneath the whole forest. Yes, who, oh. line, if Rhett convinces them to drink this nefarious love. Wait, okay, we're done. Next scene. Yes, Kataro, they love you. Now walk. We are doomed. The forest shall rot. The birds shall chop their own obituaries. The cataclysm is upon us. it is to meet the one and only mother and father Cedar. <laughs> Aren't you polite and well spoken to? Make yourself at home. <laughs> You're the talk of the forest, don't you know? They're all raving about that Lixo. What's it you got? got as much mileage as us, you start to develop certain, well, issues. Thank <laughs> you. 
Treachery lay bare. Rats sprayed Mother and Father Cedar with a revolting violent groom. Silly shrapnels! Your forest is belonging to the Moon Bear King now! A few well placed bombs should blow all that goop off. <laughs> I am slashing prices! <laughs> Dears, 
We feel better already. I can send you. My head if I did not corrupt the moonwood. I, I, I am meek and powerless and have no choice but to obey. Oh, how sweet. The poor little rat. We never even considered him might be a victim to him. Rotten moon bear king. No respect for middle management. But, but that's, that's just, just our opinion. opinion. You, you don't, don't have, have to punish, punish the, the creature on our behalf. behalf. Oh, what kindness! What mercy! Oh, I am catching deeply, truly. If you let me squeak by, I will give you whatever you ask. You need only name it. Well, how about that, you know, the Lixima call it that's supposed to help with the Mrs. F.A.D. problem? Yes, the elixir. We've tried everything to cure my husband's pit odor. Nothing works. Just take a whiff. Then I've only got a surprise for you! Come on, wow! <laughs> and welcome to the Rat Race Shopping Channel! Whoa! What is going on? Mother and Father Cedar! How would you like to be getting your hands on this Plum Miraculexia? Getting the stinky pits in old age? Never to worry! Well, uh, yeah, perhaps. Too much chunk in your trunk? Never to fear! Oh. With just one gulp of plum miraculous here, you can kiss the problems goodbye! Ever wonder how the Moon Bear King got so strong? It's plum simple, dear. Curious why the Moon Goddess was so beautiful? It's a plum secret, dear. Guaranteed by the Moony Mage Administration or your money back! Oh! oh. Oh, but it must cost a fortune. It does. But today is your lucky day. For a limited time, we're offering a 90-day free trial. It will not cost you to die. Not one dime. But you had better act now. This offer ends as soon as our program is over. Grab that phone today. 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 Would you cut it out? By the way, Kutaro, maybe you could do me a favor. Do you think those scissors of yours could lop a few pounds off the missus? I said enough! With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound! After claiming the knight's power, Kutaro vanquished Tiger and escaped the Black Castle with the witch, Ying Yang, and Picarina. Where would fate lead them next? Act 2 starts here. And so the story continues. At long last, Kutaro and his new friend Picarina were free of Castle Grizzlestein, born to safety by the witch's magic. Our fugitives needed a safe place to hide, 
and so they chose Castle Waxwain, the same flying palace from which the Moon Goddess once ruled. In those better days, the White Castle was resplendent, a sight to behold, but the tides of darkness had since dulled its sparkle and loosened the